color. For my last installment this week, talking about applying color in your maker projects, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my all-time favorite maker skill, weathering. It's where you take an object and apply paint, material, texture to it to make it look as if it's been used. Weathering is essential to making something look realistic. To illustrate this, I just wanted to do a simple, quick walkthrough. So I worked on weathering a screwdriver and I actually have several screwdrivers here, including the one that I weathered. This is actually a toy. It was one of my son's toys. He gave me permission to weather it. On a scale of one to 10, in terms of my weathering jobs, I would give this about a six. It looks pretty good from a distance. Maybe it looks good on camera. So here it is starting. And I went in and I first and I started sanding it. And the reason I wanted to do that is I wanted the tip, the chisel tip, to be thinner. It was pretty thick to begin with. And so I sanded it down and then I roughed up the entire surface, paying special attention to where the seams are. This is a injection molded plastic toy. And so where they take the mold apart, there's a line, you see this frequently. I then went in next and I decided to try a little orange. I wanted to see what the orange would do to add a little depth. One of the things you have in these monocolor injection molded plastic parts, they look fake because there's no depth to them. It's just a single color, right? So adding a bit of orange that's a different color orange than the handle was my first attempt to do that. It looked nice, dry it off with a blow dryer, which is another great thing to do when you're doing this. By the way, I'm using acrylic paints. These are just craft store acrylics. They're great for this because they're water-based. You're gonna get it all over your hands and you use water to dilute it and mix it around. And if you mess up, it's easy to wipe off with a little more water. Then I next went in and decided to hit it with my all-time favorite markers, Sharpies. And I have four of the best colors for doing weathering, particularly when something looks metal or metal-ish, black of course, and then three metallic ones, gold, bronze, and silver. And applying those in different layers, as I did especially on the blade shaft of the screwdriver, it really gives it depth. If you look at metal, it looks metallic because there's a depth of color to it. It's not silver completely, it's not gold completely. It has reflections and those reflections make it look, you know, a lot more detailed. So to simulate that, particularly on a plastic part, you can use multiple colors of metallic paints to give it a similar depth. Once I did that, I used the black and I filled in the gaps on the handle. It looks kind of rough at this point, but this is where the fun really starts. This is when you do the overall wash. And to do that, I use darker colors, usually black, and go in and just completely cover it. And you'll see it looks like, oh my goodness, he's screwing this up. But that's the beauty of doing a wash. You're going to take a lot of it off. Once it's applied, you then go back with a soft rag, a damp rag. You can even use a brush, depending on what you're going for, and wipe off the excess. And as you do that, that's when the magic happens, right? It starts to look like a really used piece of equipment. The screwdriver is starting to look like something someone would have used in a greasy mechanic shop for a long time. Once you get there, you can assess whether or not you want to keep going. What I decided to do is I wanted to scuff it up some more. So I got the scotch pad and I scuffed off quite a bit of that paint. Do this multiple times. You kind of can't get it wrong with weathering. You can keep going, keep moving around. If you don't like something, take it off. If you took too much off, put some more on. That's the beauty of doing weathering. And I think that's why it's so fun. It's pretty sloppy work, but what you end up getting in the end is something that looks realistic. I finally decided I wanted to apply a little bit lighter color. So I mixed up some gray and went back over it again. Liberal coat of that, wiped it off again, went back with the Brillo, and I ended up with what is a passable fake screwdriver at this point. That would be a good prop on a movie set. Why wouldn't you use a real screwdriver in a movie? I don't know. Maybe there's someone throwing it or something like that. Weathering. It's a great way to add a realistic finish to your maker projects. Give it a try. You'll learn a lot while doing it and it's messy. And that's a good thing when you're making.